Hey everyone, it's Dylan and Charlie from the Black Forest Wood Company. This week we've got one of the thickest pours we've ever done with our resin and we did it all in a single shot. So this is four inches thick California maple burl and it used about 180 liters of resin in total here and it didn't overheat. We're actually, we're still only about just over 24 hours into the pour. There's no bubbles, everything's looking really good. So we're gonna show you guys how we pulled this off and then as the second part of this video, we've also got a large office furniture package we were commissioned to build for a repeat customer down in the States. So about three years ago, he bought a dining table and now he's ordered uh, a conference table and all custom desks for his office. So you're gonna see those desks today and we even got a video from him uh, showing the desks off at the end. So if you guys can, leave a like, comment, subscribe to us. Uh, that all really, really helps us out with this. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. We've got this giant slab of wood here. We're gonna be cutting this down to about four inches. Now we gotta trim the end first. So what I'm doing here, I only have to make maybe a little bit of a trim off each end here. And you can kind of think, well, oh geez, I just gotta make one cut and I should be okay. That's when things happen, you guys. I mean, I always wear, when I'm using my chainsaw, when I think of it, I've got my hat with my eye and ear protection on it as well here too. Some of the most important things, especially with a chainsaw, is I got these chainsaw uh, pants with it. If, uh, if you hit these pants with the chainsaw, it binds the saw up like almost instantly. So I'm gonna put on my chainsaw pants. And sometimes you go shirtless when we're out in BC. Yeah, shirtless, uh, yeah, but I don't get good reviews on my shirtless uh, features, so. So it's 101 inches long and it's 22 inches high. So we need 145 inches of wood final size. I would start that easy first thing in the morning. That's been in our seat can for over two and a half years. It started on the first pull. day now uh, after we did this big pour and everything's curing up really nicely. You can see that there's very few bubbles on the surface uh, which is always a good sign. So 
That means that the resin didn't get too hot and it didn't force bubbles out of the pores of the wood. Uh, and we didn't get any cracks. There's a little bit of rippling you can see on the surface, but that's just because it is a thicker pour, so it did have a little bit of movement to it. Uh, but overall, this pour went very, very well. Again, we used our Black Forest Deep Resin, and you are able to pour four inches thick. Oh, I just noticed a fly, guys. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> we got a fly, we got to get out of here. Okay. So there we go. The epoxy though, as you guys can see, is still soft enough right now that we are able to get that out and then that should even out. Uh, I don't think the fly is gonna make it unfortunately, so we'll just, we'll just put them there. It's an art piece. Um, but what I was saying is that by using our Black Forest Deep Resin, um, we can pour this thick, but it does require cooling. So we've got three fans that we set up on this and then this whole table that I'm standing on right now is water cooled. Uh, so it actually brings the surface of the pour table to about 12 degrees Celsius and that makes a big difference in being able to do these really thick pours. So for this commercial project, our clients selected Canadian black walnut and we were actually able to source all of the slabs that were required for the desks from a single tree. So right now what we're doing is splitting them down the middle so that we can form the river. Uh, then obviously we're going to go to flattening and get the mold built and put them in there for the pour. Now we're mixing up our Black Forest Deep Resin. So we're just using, I think, actually Ecopoxy uh, Black Dye. Uh, we're not using their resin, but we are using their dye here. Uh, there's 195 liters that we've got mixed up, and I believe these pores are gonna be right around two and a half inches thick. Canadian black walnut for an L-shaped desk and then we've actually got the same thing over here and that's when, what they're gonna come out looking like so these two have already been poured um, for our client so this is the four L desks, and then we've got eight rectangular desks for for the same client uh, in total this is 135 liters today um, but this was just 45 liters in that guy After the pores have cured for a week, we take them out of the mold and put them on our Avid CNC for flattening. So this machine can actually do 20 feet long by 6 feet wide, so we were able to stack quite a few of the desks on here at once.
Then the final touch on these desks is actually these adjustable bases. So they're fully electric. Uh, we ordered them online. Uh, they've got a little panel that you can pick your height setting and that's what our client just did there and as you can see it raises the desk up to the desired height. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing that video. Um, we've been waiting to post the desk one for a while like we actually ended up shipping those out probably a couple months ago but our client just needed time to get his office all set up. Um, he might still be sending us like more professional photos that they're going to have done so if you guys follow us on Instagram you can see those there. And of course, we'll be showing the rest of the process on that quilted maple piece as well. So probably next week sometime, we might get it demolded. Uh, and then we gotta cut the two waterfall ends. We gotta finish it. And that one's for a local client. So you guys will get to see us deliver that one. Uh, but thank you again for watching and we'll see you guys next week.